Hang up. All right, baby. Hang up. All right. See you. Hey everybody, welcome back to Human Under Bridge. This is Mike once again, and thank you for tuning in. If this is the first time you're on the channel, thank you so much for joining us, and thank you for watching this video. Today's video is all about Alexandra once again, and in this second video, you're going to learn a little bit more about Linda Twala, the father of Alexandra. You're also going to be introduced to Lawrence, his right-hand man and the vice chairperson of the We Love Alex project and the Linda Twala Foundation, and all about what Lawrence is doing within the community, which is teaching Alexandra children how to swim, which is a critical life skill for everyone and that every child should know. This year alone, 26 people have drowned due to Yuxke River flooding. The Yuxke River runs right through Alexandra and can cause serious harm and damage to properties when it does flood. We had such an excellent time and were lucky enough to actually tour the Alexandra community with Linda Twala himself and be taken through the entire community, showing some of the awesome national heritage sites within the community, some of the points of interest, and some of the areas that are rich in history around Alexandra Township. You're going to be introduced to the Medalla Hostel and the Nabule Hostel and learn about how the hostel system and the design of the hostel system was so detrimental in so many ways to the black South African community. And some of that harm we are still feeling today in South Africa as a community in general. Really, more than anything, this video is to get you interested in Alexandra Township, get you involved in whatever way you choose to be involved, and to give you some insight into an incredible part of our South African history and one of the most awesome communities I've spent time in. Come to Alexandra and experience some of the, the incredible hospitality that I experienced and some of the awesome people that live within that community. Live within that community despite severe challenges and difficulties on a day-to-day -day basis. Please also look up the Awe Initiative. That's www.aweinitiative.co.za and please, in your own way, support the Linda Twala Foundation and the We Love Alex Project. I really thank you for tuning in and thank you for watching. And until next time, stay safe out there. The story of Alexandra goes all the way back to 1904 and a farm named Zanfontein. The name Alexandra comes from Lady Alexandra who was the wife of the original farm owner. Alex became one of the few areas where historically black South Africans could own land. Did you know that Alexandra is the oldest of all South African townships and is often referred to as the mother of all townships? Alexandra became a hub or a collection point for black South Africans that were coming to Johannesburg in search of opportunity and work. Alexandra was originally envisioned for a population of 70,000 people. Today, estimates are as high as 1 million people within an area of 7 square kilometers. What better way to learn about Alexandra and get a tour of the township than from the father of Alexandra, Tate and the Twala. Linda Twala was born in Alexandra and is the grandson of the original settlers on the land when the land was first purchased in 1904. Tati Twala took us all around Alex and showed us some of the wonderful historical and heritage sites as well as some of the sites of interest within the community. Did he ever come? Did he come? Did when, he ever when, come back here? Yeah. When, when he was out of prison, he came to his house. His first visit was here. Really? And that's him. Because he was too handsome. <laughs> He's a big he was, man, he eh? He was living in the church, that's uh, the church that I showed you. Yes. Because he was too handsome, Reverend uh, Abu tried to send him this side because of the ladies that we have <laughs> The chains of? Freedom. Freedom. Freedom.
For all intents and purposes, Alexander should have gone the same way as Sophia Town and District 6. In the 60s and during around the Sharpeville riots, the Apartheid government that at the time declared a state of emergency and endeavoured to remove areas like Alexandra as they did with District 6 and Sophia Town. After the 1960 Sharpeville killings, the government declared a state of emergency and decided to clamp down on all opposition. At that point, Alexandra was destined to be demolished. Famously, at one point, Alexandra was designated for a hostile city. It was a stated objective of the apartheid government to demolish Alexandra and replace it with 25 hostels, each housing 2,500 people. The first of those hostels, the Madala Hostel, was built in 1971, and then in 1972, the Nobule Hostel was built. Both of the men's hostels in Alexandra are infamous or famous around the world. Tell me why is it so important for pe uh, people in this community to know how to swim? In fact, for every South African child to know how to swim. Um, well, in terms of our heritage, black people generally don't know how to swim in South Africa. Okay? Um, so that's the first thing that has to be fixed. It has to be something where, because you're born with it. Yes. Um, if you look at our counterparts, be it white, be it Indian, be it Chinese, they take swimming from birth. They'll, you'll find a two-year-old swimming around the pool. Right. Um, so for us, not only is it for our safety, we've got the Yokske River that runs through Alex. Um, last year we had 22 people that drowned in that river. 22? Yes. Um, we had a flash flood. Wow. So in Alex we get really bad thunderstorms and you want to know when it hits. Sure. When it hits, it hits. So we had a flash flood, 22 people died. It comes down like a deluge. No, Bill, no, no. Get out of that Zulu regalia. Look at you, you pale faced, pink faced bastard. Oh, very good. Smells nice, eh? Yeah, yeah, it smells particularly yummy. Oh, very can I have a picture with you guys? Can I have a picture with you? Remind me of King Edward. Okay, hold on, I want to just switch. Can I take a picture with you? Oh, wonderful. Thank you. 
So thank you for having me. Oh, thank, thank you. you. Thank you for having me. <laughs> ah, it's a pleasure. Lovely to meet you. I say yes, I want to go to the home and see people of my age there. I don't want to You're stay You're not here. lost. You're like, not lost. They keep on spoiling me, bring, the, bring me the tea in bed. Now I can go and find my own tea. <laughs> Five o'clock in the morning. I'm so happy. We are visiting the famous Alexandra crash. My grandchildren, I'm talking about my daughters who've got grandchildren now. And tell me, please, so name them. Our children are here. And that gentleman who's seated over there is one of those that grew up here. And those years, when I saved this crutch, it was 1977, Reverend Putti came to me and said, if you can if you manage to save this crutch, it means we can save Alexander. And that's when we started the Alexander Days in Kobichi. At the time when come, the, the bishop here, Father Kens, took it over. And I said, well, if it's taken over, by Father Kens is fine. Yeah, no. When I this is the place that started it all. Alexander is surviving today because of this place. I know a bit yeah. of the history, but yeah. I think women are tall again. I yeah. know a lot. Yeah, I'm going to That's where you'll get to know better. Okay, okay. Curtis, I've got a question for you. Okay. How quickly can I get a, a black name from the community? You know, like a, they used to call my mother Loma Langa. <laughs> Uh, how long is it going to take? This is our hospice where they keep terminally ill people. And this is our Alexandra High School. This is our hospital. Bye bye. Sorry to tell them. There's no more. There's no more. No, 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 bye, baby. No, 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 no,